So where is the Turkish economy headed? Most would say to an unmitigated disaster. And that is uh, for a very simple reason. Turkey is now ruled not by President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, but by Sultan Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Turkish institutions have no independence. Um, Turkey's central bank, worryingly, does not have a say even as to interest rates, and that this is extremely significant. On Thursday, the 18th of August, the Turkish central bank cut its interest rates from 14% to 13%. Now, official statistics um, reveal inflation of about 80%. Unofficial statistics or unofficial estimates run to as high as 160%. Now, once you have inflation going up, the natural thing is you put interest rates up. Why? Because once you put interest rates up, then people start putting their money in banks and you take out some money from the economy. Once you lower interest rates, people have less of an incentive to keep their money in the bank and they go out and spend it. Also, businesses can borrow more cheaply, and, and so that also adds to more demand and leads to more inflation. This is common sense. This has been common sense for quite a while now. But for some reason, and some say it is thanks to his increasingly Islamic beliefs in his old age, and some say Erdogan is very ill, and therefore he's remembering, remembering Allah more and more as he's getting older, Erdogan thinks of interest rates as, as evil. Remember, in, in uh, Islam, interest rates are prohibited. So even as inflation is ripping through the economy, is decimating the lives of millions, Erdogan is pressuring the central bank to cut interest rates, and they have cut it yet again. Remember, the Turkish central bank has been cutting interest rates in 2020, in 2021, and now in 2022. In 2021, the lira fell by 44% against the dollar. Today, the lira is hovering around 18.1. The last I checked, it was 18.13, but you get, the, you, get the, you get the picture. The currency is falling, and falling dramatically. So, you have a falling currency, you have a rising current account deficit, which really means that imports are greater than exports. And you've got um, a rising budget deficit, meaning the government is spending more than it's earning. And you've got uh, workers, young people, pensioners falling below the poverty line in large numbers. So what are you seeing right now? Um, you're seeing economic madness. Now, sure, Erdogan has been very clever. He has negotiated deals um, in the geopolitical arena. He's now um, cavorting with uh, uh, Russia, Iran. Uh, one would argue that Turkey has always had um, a crisis uh, when it comes to its currency and inflation. It's had it for decades. After all, Turkey was a frontline state in the Cold War and it, and it extracts geopolitical rent. And Erdogan has taken geopolitical rent to its logical conclusion. He engages in political blackmail. He tells the EU, give me more money. And if you don't give me more money, I'll unleash refugees slash migrants upon you. And then everyone pays up. The EU says, OK, uh, keep them in Turkey. And that... Um, Infusion of cash helps him get by. The latest news reveal that Turkey is using tourist dollars to prop up its currency. Uh, Turkey has also got some cash from Russia and the Gulf recently. Uh, Turkey um, is going to impose uh, restrictive capital controls, which means that Turks will not be able to buy dollars or you won't be able to freely buy and sell uh, lira. Um, well, we won't be able to get money out of the country, really. It, won't, it will no longer be um, a free exchange or a floating exchange rate. Now, all of those measures are 
in some ways um, uh, defensive measures to stave off an inevitable tide. The reality is the government is spending more than it earns, the country is spending more than it earns, and prices are rising by the day. Revolutions and elections depend on the price of bread. And it's ironic that Erdogan, who made his name initially for sound economic management and for being a decent mayor of Istanbul, is now turning to be this interest rate cutting maniac in the face of inflation. Perhaps the Sultan uh, is getting too close to Allah. Perhaps the Sultan has really lost the plot. But the consequences of that uh, decision are not going to be with the man who built a thousand-roomed White House, Aksaray, right where um, the man he detests most, uh, Kamal Ataturk or Kamal Pasha, built his hunting lodge. Out goes secular Turkey, out goes any rationality in policy making. In comes this new model of um, Erdogan's extremely dogmatic stand on interest rates. And Turkey is headed for a real disaster.